Now recently, the under NAP 2020, the UGC has also allowed that students can take the courses from other institute. And this uh, course which is done by the student will earn the credit that college should become autonomous. More and more autonomous colleges are there. Then these colleges will be converted into university and these university will be called as teaching university. Whereas those universities which are already having teaching and research, they will be called research university. That two institutes, three institutes, four institutes come together and provide opportunity for the students to learn. So that means the quality of teaching learning has to proliferate in different angles. Using technology, using the facility, using this uh, collaboration and also create now the learning in terms of the incubator means where the model of industry can be at your college. Years of experience in the academic field. He was the vice chancellor of various central universities. He has held important and responsible positions in the education sector, in the universities as well as in the uh, Department of Education of the government in various states. Over to us to raise any uh, doubts, not really regarding what our Honorable Vice Chancellor spoke to us, also regarding the doubts we may have about the NAC peer term visit we will be having. Data collection is a very big thing which comes in uh, NAC, uh, NAC preparation, SSR preparation. So, I just would like to know uh, how do you collect data uh, or any information regarding the various criteria? Is there a system, a software, something like that that you collect and then from that you get it afterwards? Uh, how 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 does the system work here? Because we when we began to do, we collected it manually. Means we keep it and file it and keep it like that. But the now since Advancement has come, system has come, as you already mentioned about the information in the website. So that, how do you like do that here?